Most people think that growing hydroponically means growing in water. Although water-based growing is one hydro method, you can also grow hydro using a felt pot, growing mix, and liquid nutrients. Using a hydro growing mix is usually easier for beginners because it acts as a buffer against nutrient mishaps. To get started, you'll need a root farm felt garden pot. Felt pots are great for hydro gardening because they are made of a breathable material which allows for better drainage and aeration than traditional pots. Root farm felt garden pots come in three sizes to fit a wide range of plants. Our small felt pot is great for growing smaller plants like oregano or lettuce, and you can grow medium plants like peppers or a few small plants like Swiss chard in our medium felt pot. And for larger plants that need a little more space, like tomatoes or hydrangeas, you should use a large felt pot. Once you've decided which plants you want to grow and which felt pot to use, it's time to choose a growing mix. For beginners, we recommend using Root Farm Hydro Garden Potting Mix because it comes preloaded with organic and natural nutrients to give your plants a jump start. Fill the felt pot with your growing mix of choice, then transplant your seedlings or starter plants. Top it off with a little more growing mix around the sides to make sure your plants are secure. Now it's time to apply your nutrients. For your nutrient solution, mix water, root farm base nutrient part one, and a root farm supplement part two, following the dosing directions on the base nutrient bottle. The supplement you use will depend on the plants you're growing. Since we're growing oregano, we'll use the Root Farm All-Purpose Supplement. Once you've added both parts, mix your solution thoroughly and then slowly apply around the base of the plant until it starts to drip out of the bottom of the pot. If you're growing indoors or maybe on a patio, you'll want to place a saucer under the pot to protect surfaces and catch any additional nutrients from spilling over. Finally, make sure you have the right amount of light. If you're growing outdoors, you'll want to choose a spot that gets around six to eight hours of direct sunlight. If you're growing indoors, we recommend using a grow light. For more videos, tips, and tricks for growing hydro, visit us at rootfarm.ca.